Life is not a path to coincidence, happenstance, and luck, but rather an unexplainable, meticulously charted course for one to touch the lives of others and make a difference in the world. Our fourth Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Award recipient for 2009, not by coincidence or happenstance or luck, but through compassion for others and making a difference in the lives of many. Please turn your attention to the monitors. The Jefferson Awards is proud to present a Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Award to a woman who has committed her life to helping others, making a difference in countless lives, Diane Dobitz. From an early age, Diane learned the values that would shape her life. The third oldest of 15 children raised on a farm in South Dakota, the bedrock of her upbringing was sharing, caring, hard work, and giving to those in need. And she has put those values to work at every step in her life. After becoming an elementary school teacher in 1976, Diane spent her summers volunteering for people who were mentally and physically handicapped. For eight years, she volunteered for her church, living and teaching in Kenya, helping to start a girl's school. Today, Diane lives in Minnesota and continues to build on her Africa experience by teaching children from refugee and immigrant families, volunteering countless hours to help the families however she can, as an advocate, a friend. In addition, she is active in the community in numerous projects, from raising awareness about issues of racism and poverty to supporting worthwhile local projects and charities. For a lifetime of dedication to helping others, the Jefferson Awards is proud to salute Diane Dobitz. I don't know what to say, I'm totally surprised. I only know that my mom and dad taught me that everybody's the same and that you care and you share and you help when people need you. I grew up as a young child somehow feeling the world wasn't fair, that the inequitable distribution of the world's resources is wrong. And that's why I went to Kenya. I had received a wonderful education, and I felt I knew I couldn't change the world, but I could help somebody. And so I fell in love with the African people when I was there. And now I have the best job in the world. I get to work with many African immigrants and refugees who come from war-torn countries where you cannot even begin to imagine some of the things they've been through. I feel so honored by the trust that they have in me because they tell me their stories and they let me, and they let me hold their children and teach them how to bake a cake and go to the doctor with them or whatever. I also know that I owe, I feel I'm paying a debt to my great grandparents and grandparents who came from what used to be Austria-Hungary and then it was changed because of war and so many people's lives are. They came here not knowing English and I feel I'm paying them back by helping people learn that language and I feel it's, it's really something we need to learn as Americans that knowing another language is so 
taken for granted in other parts of the world where people so many times know three or four languages. And that's why I'm called an ELL teacher, English Language Learning, instead of LEP, which is Limited English Proficiency, or ESL, which means English as a Second Language. I have children who come to me in first grade or kindergarten and they already know three languages or the beginning of three languages. And then we tell them that they're limited. I really am so honored and this Jefferson Award experience has been... Africa changed my life. I think this is my second life-changing experience. <laughs> Thank you. I would never have dreamt that this could have happened. I, I mean, I came here feeling like I've helped a little, but not, you know, a lot. And listening to everybody else's story, it was like, whoa, maybe, you know, I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> and so I was utterly surprised, utterly surprised. And I really believe, you know, this is the kind of thing we need to make newsworthy. That we need to send messages of hope. And that's exactly what I, I've gained again from coming here. And I, I said it's a blast of hope because I'm, it will lift me for the rest of my life. I'm sure it will. I, I'm very aware of the suffering in the world and the, in, the unfairness. And it's like people are making differences everywhere. And I know I, I told my mom just yesterday because I called her and told her she could receive the Jefferson Award. And if my dad was living, he could, because they just did so many things. And my, my family and my friends and the community I belong with, anyway, it's, it's such an honor. And when you started out, you took your natural gifts of being an educator, yeah. and you expanded on that. You didn't just work inside the classroom. No. Sometimes people will, uh, have a hard time of where do they get started. Yeah. Do you recommend just... Yeah, absolutely. You know, being able to say, well, I can, I can help this person or that person or, you know, just being able to follow through with your heart and, and, um, and respond to the needs that you see around you and, and respond. Because we all have that inclination. We want to help and, and to just trust your heart and do it. Well, you could be discussing why you won the award. Is that what you want us to do? Please. Oh, oh, let's do a picture first. Yeah. When did you All right, yeah, you want to do, we'll do a couple of skills quick. Okay. All right, look here, one, two, three. Okay. Do one or two more. Okay. Okay, right here. Right there. Okay. Okay. Do one more. Okay. 